we are about to make some reversible butt wings for our puppy or our cat or whatever animal we want to strap these to. Up first, I made a template for my wings. I drew one side, I just kind of made it double. So obviously it's gonna be whatever size fits your animal. That was Walter. I had uh, leftover jelly rolls strips or, you know, 2.5 inch strips. So that's what I went with. Um, and so you just pick out which ones you want and you gotta see about like how large you need them, a little larger than your wings, obviously. And then you can just kind of cut the excess off like so. All right, then you quilt it however you wanna quilt it. I'm going to make these reversible, but with the same patterns, so. You'll see. So now we're at the ironing board and we just iron out our strip set. And I actually, I used two strip sets on the original, but I'm gonna use these. And I made like the other side's gonna be 2.5 inch squares, two and a half inch squares, just because I wanted it to be reversible and I was out of strips and I'm doing this quickly. Okay, so at this point you have two strip sets or quilted bits or pieced fabrics or even whole fabrics whatever it is that you want to use for your wings you have two of them that are roughly the same size for me the pieced one is smaller so i'm just making sure my wings fit and they do should have done that before but they do so we're good um and then i just want to also make it clear that like i didn't care at all about this i just kind of slapped them together they actually came out pretty good considering i didn't nest seams or anything. So anyway, you now have your two panels, so we're gonna get them ready to quilt them. This is soft and stable. I have some for making bags. It's all kind of like chopped up and it's uh, got creases, but I'm gonna iron it, so that's fine. So basically, we're just gonna cut a piece that fits our fabric. You can baste it however you wanna baste it, but I love Elmer's School Glue. Um, this is actually how I based my quilts, just a thin amount. And then you press your fabric down, and then I set it with an iron. Now you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna baste your fabric to the other side, your other panel, your other pieced bit, whatever. So this is the part where if you care, about what fabric, like if you like one more than the other or something, you need to pay attention to your tops and your bottoms. I really like this. So I think I'm gonna put this at the bottom. So if you notice, there's like quite a bit of bottom there. So I want, I want this to be along the bottom. So I'm gonna, put, this one doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna place this to where that's my bottom. Now we have our double basted uh, soft and stable and we just quilt it however we wanna quilt it. All right, now you have your quilted double-sided panel and you're gonna figure out where you want your wings on the pattern if you care and we're gonna trace them on. I have a white chalk pencil, so I'm going to use this to trace them on. Now that I have the wings traced, I'm just going to take my machine and I'm going to go on the inside because the outside is the chalk line. So I'm going to go on the inside and sew all the way around and I'm going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay, so I have it sewn on the inside and I'm going to take my pink and shears and cut out my wings. We now have reversible wings. So now we're gonna make the attachment. I have put my seam guide back on to one fourth of an inch. And this is my last of that uh, jelly roll pack. So I'm just gonna use it. Um, and I'm going to fold it in half. And we're basically making strapping. So we're gonna fold it in half and sew all the way down. Um, and then we're gonna turn it inside out. We have our press strap. I'm gonna take it back 
to the sewing machine and on both sides, I'm gonna sew an eighth of an inch. We're gonna fold them in half and mark the middle. I'm gonna use my pencil to do it. You can use a pen, you just wanna mark the middle. Okay, you can pen it, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna glue it, but you wanna have enough strap that you're gonna make a loop that your dog's collar can go through and it can still come back and I'll show you what I mean, but I'm just gonna glue this section real quick, but I am not gonna glue very far down. I'm actually just gonna glue up in this part because I'm actually not gonna sew this far down. Okay, so that loop is big enough for Walter and Stella, his sister's collar, to go through it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and I'm gonna cut it like right there. This is what it looks like. This is your folded over bit so that you have a nice edge. It's right at the top. You're gonna sew from this down to here and back up. You could zigzag it, you could decorate it, or you could just do a simple, I'm gonna do a simple rectangle and then I'm gonna do two lines down the middle just because. But you do not want to sew down here. Down here is open for the belly, for the belly band that we're gonna make. Just to show you, we're gonna sew here down to here and then whatever you want to do in this space so there is our little sewed bit and like i said this is open and that's the other side that's what it looks like now we're going to take our velcro and you want it on opposite sides so that when you're laying it down like one is over here like your fuzzy that's my fuzzy and then my grippy is on the bottom and that is so that when we wrap it around we can make them work. Um, I'm going to pink my edges and I'm going to hand sew this because they're sticky. My, my Velcro is sticky and I do not suggest sewing that on your machine. I did it on the last one and it royally goofed my machine's needle. So I do not suggest doing it. And then to put it on your dog, it just depends on what side you want up. So I want this side down. So I'm going to feed the belly strap through this side. And when I put his collar on through there, it'll hold like this. So his patchwork will be up. Let's go do it. Do you want to put wings on? Come on, let's put some wings on. Could you? <laughs> you love them? Oh my God. 